Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, yeah, so Pikachu's Quick Attack Edgehog is a fairly useful technique, also a fairly dangerous one, since it has a very it has a pretty strict timing, and well, it gets stricter I think based on where you perform it. Like you can do it at closer to the ledge, which gives you like maybe an extra frame to do it correctly, or like higher up, which gives you a couple extra frames, but it's not as ideal, I guess you would say. Yeah, that's fair. So it's mostly the further, you, the more time, or the further you have to travel with the second part of the upbeat, the more lenient the timing is. Yeah. So I could probably get away with doing it right here. Let's see. So. Yeah, it'll definitely work from there. The thing is, like, you have to let go um, of down, or diagonal down, or you won't grab the ledge. So, I did it correctly there. Let's try it again. But, I am going to hold down right for an extra frame. So, one, two, let go. And I grabbed it there because I was um, closer toward the ledge before I performed it. Which means I'm going to get to the ledge a little later than I would if I did it from further away, which may or may not be relevant, but um, I'll try it on, I'll try letting go on frame 3 this, whoop, damn it, I'll try letting go on uh, frame 3 this time, see what happens. One, two, three, and I'm too far that time, so it's only like, even from the middle of the stage, or from like, I guess, not from middle, but middle distance it only has a two frame window really of letting go which is fairly scary for people that are still trying to learn it um i think you can i think what i typically do on battlefield like a good way to it's a good way to remove that thank you what i do on oh my god <laughs> on battlefield is like there's a little line right here No. There's a little line on Battlefield where that little circle is, and I actually try to be from there. It's a pretty easy way to remember, like, this is like the max distance almost. You're allowed to do. But it also has the strictest timing of like one frame. If you are holding diagonal down over for one frame too late, then you die. And that sucks. But. It's a pretty easy way to remember like where exactly you can like this little where basically where this I'm not sure lighter purple meets the darker purple is kind of like a good little sweet spot for it because from here it's you know it's about the same timing every single time yeah it's pretty and pretty lenient there yeah well I think it's still one frame but like I'm not sure how far left I could be before it becomes like not a thing I can do. Let's try it here. It looks pretty bad right now. <laughs> oh wow, he actually grabbed it there. That's actually really surprising to me. Yeah, it's pretty lenient. You can actually go decently far out. Uh, but there is a point at which you just can't. Yeah. No no angle and no timing will get you to the ledge. Yeah. Also on Battlefield, if you're on the platform at the very edge, you can up B away, straight left, and then straight diagonally down. And let go of the diagonal down, obviously, like you always should if you're trying to grab the ledge. And you'll grab the ledge fairly quickly from that position. It's also really good for if you, like, back throw someone on the platform or, like, knock them off in some way. Sometimes the up B will actually snipe them and maybe take away their jump or interrupt their recovery and just pretty much confuse them. It's a pretty fast way to get... Oh, my gosh. It's a pretty awesome way to get to the ledge really quickly from where that position is. If you do it from like not at the edge, it actually grabs the ledge a little bit faster though. Because um, since you end up closer to the ledge, you sweet spot it faster. You actually sweet spot it out of the up B instead of like falling first. Something like that. Yeah, you just don't travel as far in the second part so you get there faster. Yeah. Cause like if the up B finishes traveling, you actually have to begin falling before it'll grab the ledge. Mm. So, Battlefield also has this thing that Axe likes to do that I'm not. 
I don't do it because I'm not really comfortable with it, like most technical things that he does. So it's not something I'll fit in. But if you have to be at just the right position, I th maybe this is it, we'll see. Like up B from here and then across. Straight up and then straight across. Yeah, I think this is it. You'll land. Yeah. And then. Basically standing on that line. Yeah, and then you can, like, not ha that happen. Uh, then you, like, do something, like, up smash or instantly run off in there or something like that. Yeah, not and that's just canceling the second part of the up B. Like, you'll end the up B and then be on the ledge. Just the ledge cancel immediately. Yeah. It's a very, very specific spot on the stage, though, it seems like. Yeah. It's a neat little trick that he likes to do. You might... I think the most famous use of it was that he did think it's Music King, and Music King had a ridiculously funny reaction to it, which is awesome. Yeah, um, I mean, it's cool to note that you can do that on any ledge, it's just Battlefield has this setup where you, can, you don't have to be in like a, a specific spot in the air, you can just right. stand on yeah. the stage at that one spot. Or, Exactly, and that's what makes it, basically the main point of this video is, or this thing, is to like, give people consistent ways to um, upbeat to the ledge without feeling that they're going to kill themselves or second guessing the, the distance and stuff. On uh, Dreamland, there's like this yellow flower right here, that actually is hard to see when the is blowing at it, which sucks. Um, but I like to go to the yellow flower and then do my up B, and I think that's about max distance. And I have a lot of success grabbing it from just using the yellow flower on. I think it's on both sides actually. Actually, not on the. Yeah, there's a yellow flower here too. You put his nose in it. It's adorable little nose. And like, this is my little way of remembering like how to do quick attack hedgehogs on the. Uh, like it just feels. I don't know. Having that helps me a lot. Yeah, it's good having visual cues. Yeah. Um. And that's for Dreamland. I don't really know if Dreamland has any like specific cool up tricks on the platforms. Mostly want to focus on like just making sure people are comfortable with up So Pokemon Stadium has this sick little line, and to me that's the up here line. So you stand behind it, and then up B to the, the, uh, to the ledge. And it's awesome. I think you can stand on it, but if you stand too far behind it, it won't work. You'll end up like... Not being able to get to the ledge. I think here would work. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's... And I think I think it's important to note that um, these lines or these sort of stage positions we're talking about aren't like the only place you can do the up B. It's just sort of the max distance. And what helps from being at that max distance, as Chad said, was you get there a little bit faster. It's not really noticeable, but it is any any speed is nice, and you won't have to potentially run as far to start the upbeat, but also it shows you that if you do it um, further inward from the stage than that line, then you won't be able to get to the ledge, and so you'll just end up doing a really laggy upbeat, and your opponent will get back to the stage, and that's not good. Yeah, and you'll look really silly. Yeah, yeah. I think from here it's too far. I'll try it. Pretty sure this is way too far, though. Yeah, so you don't have to yeah, be like... Yeah, and I actually... I didn't get the down part because I wasn't... I couldn't see it. I, I would have just been stuck on the stage for a long time, but instead I killed myself, which is probably worse. I had to guess. But, um... Oh yeah, there's something on... Dreamland I wanted to point out, I guess. Is that you cannot be to the ledge from the, the platform on Dreamland, kind of similar to Battlefield, but you can't really get the sweet spot that you can do on Battlefield. But still, it's a lot faster than like, you know, jumping off and then wave dashing on, or killing yourself in that instance. Like, it's a lot more confusing to follow for players. Like, if you're ever on the platform, instead of just like, you just run across the platform and then up B, instead of having to like turn around and stuff like that. So that saves a little time there too. Yeah, uh, you can't get low enough. The thing is the platform is high enough that you can't actually cancel the second part of your piece so you have to fall slightly at the end as you see yeah uh, but it still gets you there all right so <laughs> my little safety thing on uh yoshi's this little i'm not sure what this thing is it's like a little blue piece of or like a teal piece of cardboard 
But I like to stand on it and then do my OB. And that helps me there. Because it's about max distance. And I landed on Randall, which completely ruined everything. <laughs> Thanks for ruining my tutorial, Randall. You're the best. He's so proud of himself. He's smiling. He's always happy. <laughs> yeah, I know. That bastard. Um, but on the left side, you can use the teal little piece of cardboard. On the right side, there's not really a good indicator. There's this little, like, like weird dark triangle right here. I guess it's holding up the tree of cardboard. I like to kind of stand in front of the tree and then do it. And that one looks like not that good. Let's see if I can stand on the plot this thing, yeah. That looks good, actually. Yeah. So you can do that too. Oh, that's pretty difficult as well. Yeah, there's <laughs> basically this dark triangle or the teal teal thing. It's also important to note on Yoshi's, like on Dreamland, I showed you that you cannot be to the uh, platforms or to the ledge from the platform. But on Battlefield, if you do it from the tip, you'll make it. On Yoshi's, if you do it, you actually did kill yourself. <laughs> And it's really saddening, because yeah. I didn't know that was going to happen the first few times that I did it. I was like, I'm just going to grab the ledge and be really cool. And... Oh, I actually did that. Weird. You have oh, to be a, a little bit in. Yeah, I wasn't think I was at max distance there. But... You have to be pretty... I'm actually jumping, I'm not trying to. Though. Yeah, like, like that. For some reason it doesn't grab. If you do it from like the middle of the platform, though, it's actually fairly good, I think. If you just do a simple diagonal angle, yeah, and you grab it fairly fast. So just keep that in mind. You don't want anyone in SD gonna be like, "Oh, your Pikachu store sucked ass. You got me killed." What's the difference with the sweet spot? Um, what do you mean exactly, Nightshade? Do you mean like um? Well, when you sweet spot it, you like don't finish the up B. Like, oh, that's not correct. <laughs> I didn't want to do down at all. But yeah, if you, um, sweet spot... Like, the upbeat doesn't finish all the way out, and you get to cancel it before, like, this dumb crap... Oh my gosh, camera please. Like, see how Pikachu, like, stretches out? That stuff is actually, like, hittable. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. See, like... Oh, gosh. This thing is bugging me so much. I don't know why it's doing this like, like, rotating crap, but uh, his up B is actually hittable during the part where he stretches out, which makes it risky, because when he's being edge guarded, like they can hit random parts of his body and kill him. Yeah, are you prepping for Evo? Yes, sir. I'm also, and I'm doing like a, uh, a mini up B tutorial thing. Anyway, um, for. This stage, the up B spot I like to go for is like just before this big cup. I guess the goblet of water, super Kirby water, and then I go for the the um, the let's uh, the quick attack let's hog there, kind of like like that. You don't have to be perfect, like Antics has been saying. You can be kind of off a little bit and still get it, or just not. But um, yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, you can get it in different ways, which is good. Um, you can also get there from the platforms. Yeah, based on where the platforms are, because these platforms disappear and go to different varying heights, so you kind of have to be aware of the height. Get out of here, you. I think with this one, you couldn't do it from the tip here. You probably have to do it from like right here. No, and right here. Yeah. Oh, well, tip seems fine actually. Yeah, you just have to be prepared for where the platform's gonna be at. Do you know who's in your pool? Yeah, I've seen my pool. It's probably just gonna be it's gonna be probably Milkman on me. Damn it. I unplugged the controller and that was a mistake. I can fix this. Uh, another OB thing um, for getting to the ledge that I like to mention is on any stage, if you're standing like right on the edge, you can up the out and up the back. 
and you'll catch sludge. You'll fall a little bit, it won't cancel anything, but you'll... Uh, the second part of the upbeat isn't quite as long, it's just barely not as long as the first part of the upbeat. So you'll upbeat out, upbeat back, and then you'll just fall and catch the ledge. Do you uh, mean like, see, you say from the ledge or from the stage? From the, the, the ledge, the stage ledge. Like, like on the it. stage, but hanging, like not on, like hanging from the ledge? Just on the stage, but yeah, just standing at the very edge. So you'll see, like, I'll do it occasionally with Pikachu from back throw, usually. Um, you can back throw, and that will, Pikachu will roll backwards as far as he can towards the ledge, and then he'll, and then you can up the out and back at the ledge. Yeah, you can also do it from the ledge, too, and it's yeah. similar to that as well. Um, you go across not... and come back, but it doesn't cancel, like you said. It's not useful all the time, but um, it can be nice against some characters because um, up he still has hitbox, so you can back throw somebody and then like up he out and back, and if they double jump, up he will just eat their jump, and then you're ledge hogging them. So that's cool. Yeah. Also, um, you can like, in some stages that don't have, like, have peculiar walls on like FD or Battlefield, which has like no walls really. You can kind of go under the stage a little bit. Let's see if I can position myself. Oh, and yeah. when you're and when you're like under the when you're under like under the ledge and kind of to the right or the left of it, based on you know, in in toward the stage, you can up B diagonally up and away, and then immediately the opposite direction again, and you'll actually grab you'll snap onto the ledge on the way back down, which can sometimes be useful. Um, you may see Axe doing it every now and then, and. Sometimes you can use that to snipe people or whatever you want it to be, really. Yeah, you can also think, do it. Sorry, go ahead. Well, I think it's mostly useful for if you jump out and try to edge guard somebody, um, you'll be facing away from the stage, so you can't grab the ledge because you're facing away from the stage. But if you can like double jump back and get um, close to the ledge, you're now facing away from the stage but right next to the ledge, so you can do up the out and back, or up the. You need to get a little more height. Um, as you showed, up the slightly upwards and then back down. Yeah, it's like you could jump out, up air them, and then like grab it very fast from that angle without having to worry about messing it up. Because the timing on that is actually extremely lenient. Because you have many, many, many frames to let go of the down and still get it. Yeah, and the main use is it turns you around. So yeah. Um, but for FC, there's not really a specific spot I can use to like. Like to help me, I just kind of have to feel it out. But like we've been saying, that a B is lenient enough where you can get it from a lot of spots on the stage, as long as your timing is right. If you do it, like I said, if you hold diagonal down for too long, you kill yourself. And yeah, I think if you're just in front of what I sort of use as a visual cue is that little like zigzaggy thing in the front. On the left side, if you're just in front of the point, uh, the, the sort of outer point, I guess you'd say, that's about as far as you can go. On the top or the See. bottom half of FD? Uh, the the foreground, it's the bottom half. On the left so, or right side? Uh, if you're on the left side of the stage. Oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> this Pikachu's kind of nervous. <laughs> Um, oh, not that one. The the, uh, the other side. Or I guess the stream's a little delayed. It's yeah. Like, the... <laughs> well, like right here? Or right here? It's not. Like, you're gonna hear 20, either one of those. <laughs> I know, right? Gosh. Right here sounds reasonable. The one that looks more reasonable. Oh, damn it. Probably say. Yeah, I guess right here, probably. Also, it's important to know, because I just actually screwed it up, that your timing will be off. Uh, if you go through things that hit you, because um, yep. there's hit lag. So, like, let's go through Peach here. See how it stayed on 14, frame 14, for like three frames at least? So, your timing will be off. Actually, no, that's. Damn it. Oh, it was frame 14. Wow, what the hell? Yeah, your timing will be off by hit lag frames. And that can be tricky to get correct. So, be very careful when you're hitting people. Especially from the stage. But yeah. Um, I'm not sure what else to cover with Pikachu upbeat. As far as like quick attack, hedgehogging and stuff. 
gosh, I should probably plug this controller back in so I can actually quit the game out. I'm a fool. Yeah, I mean, I think the only thing I'd add is um, I don't think it's quite as strict as you made it sound for timing. Because when you when you do each part of the up B, it registers your input before you start moving, obviously. Oh, really? That's why you can... Well, I mean, that's why you can up B in any direction. Because when you hit up B, you don't... Your Pikachu doesn't immediately start moving upwards. Right, yes. but... Uh... You hit up B and then you can angle. So, like, if you're um, up being to the ledge from the stage, you up B out and then back. You don't have to be holding down as you start moving. You just have to um, hit down forward um, in a certain time window, like when the first zip ends, it will wait like a few frames for you to input, which check which direction you're holding for the next part, and then it'll start moving you then. So you can let go, you can let go of the stick before you actually start moving with the second part of the up B. It'll be fine. Do you that know when when that's actually able to do? Because I'm trying to find it right now, actually, but I'm having trouble. Yeah, I'm not sure of the frame window. Um, I just, I mean, I've, we've played for so long that it's just a feel thing by this point. But um, right. I'd assume it's right around when the first zip ends. Like, as Pikachu's doing his pancake, whatever. <laughs> Crap. Um, probably around then you can hit it. So no, I tried doing the first pancake and it didn't work. Uh, yeah, so. I'd imagine like second pancake, maybe very start of second pancake. <laughs> second pancake. Yes. All right, pancake started. Let go. Okay, yeah, I got it that time. Okay, so yeah, yeah it's like more like four or five frames then. Yeah, I mean, which is still tight, but not too Let's frames. Try again. Which is really hard. Really rough. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's not during the very beginning of the pancake. Oh shit, I lost. I didn't I didn't do it correctly enough. Ready? Go! Uh what the give me that, yes. Alright, sweet. Let's try this again. It's good to know the reference point you have from the start of it seems like from for the it's, end of Pika's second pancake. Yeah, it seems like the um, second frame of pancake, the second pancake, is like the last boss or when you have to be holding it. Maybe I'll try again. Let's see. First pancake frame, let go. No, I think it's second pancake frame. <laughs> we okay. have we have deduced it's the second pancake frame. I think. Let's try again. Holding down right, first pancake frame, second pancake frame, let go, zip, yeah, second pancake frame. Okay, good to know. We need to make this terminology, I think. Second pancake frame is last peak of pancake frame in order to zip and get up B to go in direction you want. Mm. Um, yeah. Shuffles asks, can you talk about Pikachu's out of shield game?